Welcome to the Life and Football Podcast, baby. I'm your host, Mike Fee. And this your co-host, Colin Moore. You know we love and life and enjoying football. Man, I'm so happy we had this top-notch ball on today. That's right. We had Devin Helster. Devin Helster in the house today, baby. That's who we got on. Wee! I'm talking about this one of the best return men in the game ever, to my knowledge. And I love watching him play. And I know one day, real soon, he's going to be in the NFL Hall of Fame. And I really wish college football game day will have him down there as a special guest. You know, that special guest that they do the picks with on that college game day, man. College game day. Bring Devin Hester on that stage when Florida play Miami. Bring him on that stage. And let him, because I know that's the game y'all going to be at. Well, I'm pretty sure that's one of the games y'all going to be at. Y'all bring him on that stage and let him pick, do them picks, man, because he deserves it. And Devin Hester, I'm so glad to have him on the line today. I'm telling you, he made everybody in the state of Florida want to put on, put that you on their helmet. When you see him get that ball and return them kickoffs and punt returns, it's like game changer because he would change the whole game in an instant. And they would try not to kick him the ball, and somehow he'll still get the ball and he'll crib it. Man, he actually had in the NFL 20 total returns. And like Mike said, to me, honestly, he the best return man ever to live. I, you can't get no better than that. And he got a knack for at the beginning of the game, once they kick it off, I'm talking about the crowd of the opposing team ain't even got good in the stadium. Kick it off, first play of the game, touchdown. He running that kickoff back. He done did it in college, and he did it in the NFL Super Bowl. You can't beat that. Like, his return skills on such an amazing level that – what God blessed him with, I don't, I, you know how they say the a generational talent. He like generation, 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 generation talent. Man, he was gifted at it. Like we even seen when he played in the Cali, Florida game, and he took a kickoff back. One of my friends told me, man, some people just gifted at what they do. You can't even, you can't even practice what he did. It was just, it was his. Anytime a kickoff get ran back now, a punt return, they need to call it the Devin Hester play. I want to give a shout out to Devin Hester and his team for, you know, doing this with us. And Devin Hester, man, I really want to thank you for coming on and joining us today. Uh, no problem, man. Doing pretty good, though. Hey. Now, we, we know you got this uh, event coming up this weekend in Chicago. Could you give us a little information about that and, you know, uh, just, you know, kind of update us on that that situation? Yeah, uh, just trying to give back to the community, you know what I mean, that I'm in Orlando, based out of Orlando. So uh, some of the kids just trying to get my opportunity to go out and travel a little bit, see an airplane, airplane, and get on the plane and travel and play with another team from out of state. Uh, we uh, end up teaming up with an ex-teammate of mine, Rasheed Davis, who's uh, currently standing in uh, Chicago, and uh, he's coaching the league too as well. So we kind of just put it put it together between us two, and you know, said that it'd be a great idea for me to come down there and have our kids play against those kids in a little six shoot tournament. Oh, look, now see, I'm with this right here. Okay, hold on now. So is this gonna be like a seven on seven or a real a full football game? It's gonna be a full football game. So you got the boy. Six, yeah. So the boy. Yeah, my, my six U team going up there to play their six U team. Hey, Dave, hold on now. Before we go any further, is there any way that the people can donate to this uh, organization or this uh or this situation that's going on by doing something online or? you know, calling something or, you know, any other way they could donate as well, like people from the state of Florida or, or uh, yeah, across the we, nation? We, you know, we're 501c3, so we're not a proper organization. So we have, uh, you know, everything, WB form and all that in, in place. And uh, 
like I say, any donation will help out to our community and world of our, our, our organization right now. So we, like I said, we be willing to take any donation at the same time, you know, for me. And it's, I have a couple other teammates that's um, coaching out there, too, as well. So these guys, these kids are getting well coached football knowledge. You know, it's about five football coach, five football players that play in NFL that's out there coaching as well. So we have all the way up from 6 to all the way up to 14 years. A kid that we're dealing with, and you know, just trying to prepare them for life as well as football in general. Y'all heard what he just said. He preparing them for life in football. That's the name of his podcast, Life in Football. And I just want to thank him for doing that great job down there with these young kids. And all of us need chances to get get out. And I remember I didn't. My first time I got on the plane was when I was going to college, actually. So I know how it is with this situation. And a lot of young kids they growing up in single parent homes and. They never get to see certain things. A lot of them don't even get to leave out of their, their own city, to be honest. So, you know, I want to thank Devin for even doing that. And uh, if y'all could, y'all make sure y'all go support it. You know, go to go um look on the websites. Or uh, if y'all in Chicago or uh, in or uh, close to the area, make sure y'all get out there and you know support and. Um, Devin, what what time is everything gonna kick off this weekend in Chicago? We have that. It's the game is supposed to be starting. The game is supposed to be starting at eleven o'clock in Libertyville. Um, like I said, it's versus uh, Libertyville Wildcats. We the West One Bobcats. So it's been, it's been airing a lot of Chicago. A lot of uh, media been picking up on it. A lot of newscasts, podcasts. All those guys are coming out for the game, and uh, I said it's trying to give back to the community. It should be great. Great opportunity for you know Chicago fans to come out and have something to do for Saturday. Hey, hey, Devin. Now I gotta, I gotta give a prop to you, man, for doing that. But you know, you've been inspiring a lot of us for a long time. Now I don't know if you realize what I said on that intro. Now you a top dog in our minds, man. I'm talking about that number four used to come and, 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 and you did your thing in the NFL and in Miami. You. Now, now listen, me and my co-host, we in the state of Florida, but you had me, I I live closer to Tallahassee. Now, I used to love Florida State, but you had me want to be a hurricane and wear that number four. <laughs> you, had, <laughs> you had everybody want to wear that number four jersey with that orange and green on and throw, and throw some trick that in the background and just start running running with the football, take it to the house. I'm talking about every game I wish I could do that, man. How does that feel, you know, just being able to come from where you came from and, you know, doing your thing, as you know, that you did in college and in the NFL? I mean, it's so good, man. You know what I mean? Born and raised in Florida, man. Like I say, uh, pretty much back in my day, everybody went to the University of Miami, man. And, uh, you know, you get that opportunity, you know, you get that that scholarship. You know, it's just a big country. It's a country too for a Florida kid. Damn, man. And another thing, too, now, I saw some online one day. I guess it's your, uh, I don't know if it's one of your oldest kids. I know they say it was your son. He was out there juking and moving. I'm talking about he was looking like you out there on the field. How'd that well, that's, fit? that's my middle one. So he the next one in line? He's middle one. Yeah, he's my middle son. I got three boys. <laughs> okay, okay. So he didn't he didn't watch some uh tapes so you now he think he think well not well now he not thinking. Now he trying to do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. He he's not you know everybody you know, you have if we ever had kids, it's always one that he kept on you the most. And so he's the one that wanted me just right. So I got my hands full with him now. Well, now, I got another thing coming, y'all, you got coming up for us, uh, Florida playing Miami. Now, when, back in the day, you played against them too, and you did your thing out there. Will you be at this upcoming game this year? Yeah, I'll be there. And it's going to be in your backyard too. Yeah, I'll be there. 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 Yeah, I'll be there
Yeah, yeah, I see that in Orlando. I see that. Woo wee! And then it, it just that game, and I remember that that Louisville game for some reason. I'm talking about man, you were shining so hard out there, looking so clean and smooth running through that field. You look like a deal. I'm talking about like a deal, just running straight. And it, and it seemed like nobody, I ain't want to touch it, but it, it seemed like they couldn't even touch it at the same time. So, with that being said, I always wonder, like, how certain guys, it's a few guys I done saw do that to a certain extent, you know, just the way you do it. But it's really not that many, you know, Desmond Howard. Um, For everybody out there who don't know about we got a school in the state of Florida called FAMU. It was a kid that played by the name of Leroy Van. And he reminded me of a Devin Huston when he was running I always wonder, like, is it something just built in you guys just to know exactly when to cut and turn and run? Like, like, or, or is there something that you practice at, or it just it just built in you? Majority of it just built in, built in you, man. You know, you you got it, like you got you don't when it comes to that bitch. You know what I mean? Um, trying to you all, you kind of. Trademark as a little kid, and it, it just gets better and better each and every year you go out and play ball. You know what I mean? So, for so of it, it comes from just some type of awareness that's built in, inside you as you know, as a little kid playing, you kind of pick it up and you, you polish it up and get better. Now, with you being in the uh, Orlando area, was you able to catch any of the state championship games this past year? Yeah, I went to, I went to two of uh, Okay, okay. It just, it, it's good to know, man. You still out here supporting. You going to the games. You around the game of football. I'm telling y'all, uh, we have right here on the phone, Real one day soon, he will be in the NFL Hall of Fame. I'm telling y'all right now, man, he's a legend. He's a Florida legend. He's a Miami Hurricane legend. He's an NFL legend, and he's a football legend. Devin Hester, man, I want to thank you again for coming on. And I'm going to just go ahead and open the flow to you to be able to um, say anything, you know, for us in closing. Yeah, like I say, man, this this upcoming week, man, down in Chicago, we pretty much trying to put it out there. You know what I mean? If you don't have, guys don't have nothing to do this weekend and you got to located in the Chicago area, man, come out and support yourself. You know what I mean? Come out and support us. It's, the cause is for a great cause. You know, we're just trying to give back to the community. I personally, I paid for the flight and everything for these kids. You know what I mean? And hotels and all that stuff. So, if you know, just give back to the community. Try to let these kids come out and see another side of the world and not just always in Florida. But get a, get a chance to play these other kids. Hey, y'all. Y'all heard what he just said, man. I love what he doing. I know y'all see Mr. Dion Sanders. He out there doing something similar with his son and his high school team. And Devin trying to do it for some younger kids who don't get these opportunities and who is going to help out great for them in the future, man. Who knows? He may have the next Devin Hester on his team. And these guys going to be looking up to him and they actually need this support. Not just cause of football, but they need to experience different things, man. Cause a lot of times in our in, in certain communities, you don't get to see certain stuff, and you don't get to experience a lot of different, you know, activities or even something simple as flying. A lot of people never even got, you know, got to fly or a chance even to fly. So this is a great opportunity for those young kids, man. And. If y'all could, make sure if y'all in that Chicago area, look it up. Go out there and support them this weekend. And, you know, continue to support not only this weekend, but throughout the rest of the year. So, Devin, I want to give a shout-out to you one more time, man. Thank you for coming on. And, you know, like I said, you a legend in all of our minds. And you a, a top-notch a top nice bowler. I'm talking about big time. So, you know what I'm saying? I want to say thank you again for coming on. And I'm going to go ahead and leave everybody how I normally leave y'all. Keep your head up and not down or else you will fall to the ground. This is the Life and Football Podcast, and we'll catch you next time. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. 
This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. This is a new day to live your life. This is a new day to try to get right. This is a new day to get on track. Yeah, that's life in football. It's life in football.